Hey everybody, thank you for coming to another video. This is DNT Finance Family and I'm your host Will. So today we're going to talk about a couple different things. So the first thing we're going to talk about is my predictions for what's going to happen coming up to the stock split on the 31st and just a couple things you want to stay away from when it comes to investing. So before we get into the show, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It will be greatly appreciated to help get this channel out here to more people. And with that being said, let's start the show. Alright, so today marks a tremendous occasion. The Tesla stock has officially broke the $2,000 mark. It is a time that everybody's kind of like, oh man, this is it. And that is a very good like milestone. But at the same time, one of my predictions is we're going to see a healthy little dip. And this is mostly because with people that, let's say, did invest in Tesla, for the less intuitive investor or the person that just got in and made a couple hundred dollars and then their plans on, oh, it's gotten here, let me sell. Now, a lot of this is driven on the fact that, well, people get greedy. And with that being said, they don't really factor in all of the risk that well not really risk that come with that but it's never usually a good decision to just make a couple hundred dollars on something and then sell it because for all of that you could just trade options like definitely one thing that i want to get to people's forefront of their minds and with this channel is definitely the effect of long-term investing because when you make a couple hundred dollars and then you sell a stock, well, you've just lost a lot of money. One, because if you sold such a strong company or such a company with such growth that Tesla will be in the future, that you start to kind of shoot yourself in the foot because the price is only going to go up. But people think that, you know, oh, well, I'm not 100% sold on it, so I'm going to just make a couple hundred dollars and then sell it. But what they don't factor in that you have to pay taxes on that money. So, you know, if you made $200 and now you're paying taxes on it, well, now you've only made $125, $150 ish. And for all of that, you could just left it alone. Like, let's be real. Definitely, when the fact of Tesla will make you thousands of dollars far later down the line and that just kind of brought me into one thing that with people that definitely watch my channel and decided to get into Tesla one thing you have to know about the stock market things will go down but you have to have faith in these companies because me oh, I'm a hundred percent sold on the Tesla thing because here's a common fact that not that many people know Tesla is not a car company. I know, shocker, right? But Tesla is actually a tech company that just happened to make cars. And it turns out they make electric cars better than everybody else combined, respectively. And they are changing things drastically. But one thing that is a little not publicly blasted all over the place is that Tesla is actually making an effort to save the earth because they have so many other projects that involve around renewable energies and just products of the future that will make our carbon footprint shrink which will effectively make the world a better place for the generations to come as technology advances so does Tesla so, you know, Tesla has their foot in a lot of things like 
battery day is coming up very soon. I believe it's either late this month or early next month where they're supposedly going to, well, they're going to sh showcase something that they've been working a long time on called the Million Mile Battery. But that's for another video. And then a lot of other things like their solar panels. Tesla is big in the solar panel game right now. And they are doing what other solar companies don't do, which not locking people into these long crippling leases slash contracts. Because let's just say you want a Tesla solar, solar panels. You just pick your size, pick your payment plan, and let's just say six months from now, you're like, you know what? These are cool and all, but I can't justify it. Hey, Tesla, I don't want these anymore. All right, we'll come and pick them up. Just that simple. But a lot of other companies, well, once you get them, you're locked in. And they're going to want their money for the down payment of the lease term for years to come. So, this segue of what I suspect is going to happen very shortly. Like we're going to see a slight dip in Tesla just from the people that are trying to make a quick book and they're thinking like, oh man, I'm going to sell this, make a couple dollars and then that's just going to be that. So expect a dip. I wholeheartedly think there's going to be a decent dip before the stock split even though that is like the worst possible move because once the stock split happens the price is going to go back or is going to boom again quite significantly because one thing that the trend of tesla that people have been kind of not really thinking about is the fact that you know tesla was four hundred dollars all of about seven months ago. Once the stock split happens, I foresee the stock price jumping up a couple hundred dollars. And then who knows, it might settle at around six or seven hundred dollars. That's only my own personal prediction. But it'll probably bottom out at around six to seven hundred dollars for only, for a short amount of time because with Tesla being introduced into the SP 500. Now all of these stockbrokers have to buy millions of shares, which is also going to bump the price for this stock because millions of shares being bought means the price is inevitably going to go up. And that means gains for everybody else because when it gets introduced to the S and P 500, all of these hedge fund managers have to scramble and buy these millions of shares to add into their ETFs. And then, you know, once those shares are out there, soon we're going to see a stabilization. What it might be, I don't know. I only have my guesses, but I do think that the Tesla stock will continue to just boom as long as they can keep backing up their talk, which I completely wholeheartedly think they can do. Now, of course, there's going to be a couple healthy setbacks, just like with anything, because that's progress. You test, then, you know, you get the variables that you didn't get when you were testing. You know, something might happen, but I'm in it for the long haul, which segues me from talking about the people that are going to short sell to a couple things. Never sell a stock, definitely when you're not like option trading or anything. Never just buy a stock and be like, oh, I'm going to make a couple of dollars and then sell it. You're shooting yourself in the foot because... Definitely like with a stock with Tesla is only going to be worth more money later down the line and you're kind of selling your investment short by getting it and selling it just to make a couple of dollars when it's going to be worth far more. Like let's just say you got into Tesla in the early stages so you know you only paid two three hundred dollars. I happen to get mine at a really good price but then you know it's at two thousand and then you're just like, oh snap, eject button. Well, this is only the beginning because Tesla has so many gigafactories and plans for expansion later on. So it's like, you do have to look at companies and think, well, how are they deciding to grow? 
Now it's different if you invested in the company and this like hurts or something and you foresee the, or you kind of thought like, hmm, this pandemic might hurt them because the travel agencies are, you know, getting all out of whack. So if you sell out of something you think is going to go bankrupt, I can't fault you for that because it's one of those things. But you also have to do your research. And just general investing is always just better to hold on. Things are going to happen like pandemics. And if anything, when the whole market is hit, that's when your mouth should be watering like, oh man, I'm about to get a lot of great companies for a really good price. But I think I've gone on for long enough. Thank you for coming to another video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hey, you know, share this video with somebody because you know, you never know where somebody is at or thinking about things. And, you know, this might really help somebody else. And thanks for all of the words of kindness and the DMs about, you know, what people have thought about the videos. I really appreciate it. And I'm always willing to give somebody help in hand if they message me. So Instagram is in the description. And if you are trying to start your investment journey, if you go down to my Robinhood link down below, you sign up, you finish making your account, you get a free stock automatically. And what better way to start your investment journey than with free money? It's a win-win. And if you are interested in any of the equipment that made this happen, I also have links to all the equipment that I use to make all of this happen. So thank you for coming to another video. Peace.